morning guys so i can't speak too loud because it's literally 20 past nine in the morning mitch is downstairs preparing dinner but carol and rob who are mitch's mum and stepdad are still sleeping next door so i'm going to try not to be too loud but we are off on a little day trip today because i have finished work mitch is back to work next week so we thought it's a brilliant time to kind of spend like the last day kind of together so we're going to the brecon beacons and i am literally so 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 excited because so many of my friends have been and they've literally plastered it all over social media and it looks stunning and then i found like a drone um a video on youtube if i find it i will link it below and this couple did like a drone of the brecon beacons and like the waterfalls and it literally looked stunning so me and mitch are probably going to try and head off at half past nine it's now 20 past nine it's an hour and 45 minute drive there so it's not too bad but we were going to go yesterday but the weather there was like raining so we thought we'll hold off and we'll go sunday instead and it's dry but i didn't really know what to wear so i've just kind of put like this misguided oversized jumper on a little black crop top and just some misguided leggings and then i'm wearing my old my old 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 vans which can you see them yeah there they are so yeah and then um so mitch is just making up tuna pasta now because it is sunday and we thought we're not going to have a roast so we'll just take our own little cute little bits and pieces there might be a cute little cafe there we can buy the odd bits but i've never been to the brecon beacons and all my people in work who i work with said that it's a beautiful place so i'm gonna take the camera i'm gonna vlog i'm gonna vlog it there because it literally looked so stunning so yep you guys are in for a real treat today and i really hope you enjoy this video and i will see you on the way there I got windy fringe. I no no look when my fringe goes to the sides. Get rid of it? No, I don't know. But no, we're actually climbing this huge, but not even that one. To be fair, it's the one right in front of it. But I don't I don't want to get too warm, but I don't want to get too cold. Where are we walking? Towards the stream? Just watch out for poop, I think there's sheep poop. Oh yeah, we saw like two sheep loose from a field, so that was intriguing. Wow. Small but pretty. This. Simple stream. I'm gonna have to step on getting hot.
Topsy and we got no service so Mitch decided to literally ditch me but I think the drive out here was like an hour and 45 minutes but the roads are literally so small and literally probably not the best I would say but it's literally so pretty here but I think the thing we have to climb is here so I've probably not worn the best shoes I've put a pair of old vans on but, um, but no, you probably won't be able to hear me now because I'm going literally past this gorgeous fountain, uh, fountain waterfall. But I'm trying to follow where Mitch is going, but I don't know if I'll be able to with one hand. Oh, water. Hello, water. All good. I don't know where he's gone. Look at this. Okay, we're literally climbing to the top of there. Fab. Yeah. Better not be this muddy all the way up. Uh. What shoes did I tell you to wear? I don't know. Proper hiking boots. Okay. You gonna listen to me next time? Yeah. yeah. God, when he gets to the top, I'm dying. I'm dying already. Oh my God. That temperature's starting to drop a little bit. I won't say massively though. Are you taking a picture or no? Yeah, go for it. This is like the perfect place to bring a drone. You can literally get all angles of it. So we have to find the three waterfalls here yet as well. But they could be over the other side. Huh? My friend said you can. One, two, three, out, one, two, three. I'm usually pretty fit, but I forgot to bring my inhaler. Cardio, you can't do cardio. I hate cardio. It's just a thing. Okay, we've actually made it to the top, and Mitch is deciding to lose me because he's gone all the way over there. sand in that. I honestly don't, Mitch just takes the wrong freaking route. That's when I slip now. Honestly, I don't know where he's gone, so we can stay by himself. But no, I think um, we passed a few ladies and they were literally mad, all in their running gear. But I was like, fair play to them, but they must be like from the area because they know where they're going. But, um, but no, it's very windy. I know my ear is Me and Mitch 
were originally going to come and stay the weekend here but then the weather was rubbish yesterday and climbing up this in the pee pouring rain I would not have done I've lost Mitch, I don't know where he is so he can just go by himself but um but no So we've literally got all the time in the world and then I've officially finished work now so six week holidays are here I only have to go into work tomorrow for a meeting at like half past nine so I don't mind if we have that much of a late night but I'm definitely going to be coming back here in the summer and spend the weekend here we might even camp mm -hmm. see I actually don't mind camping um, I camped last year with my sister up in True Valley somewhere and it was it was literally beautiful absolutely freezing at night don't get me wrong but then all you need to do is just take extra covers so it should be fine I don't know um, we've hit um we've hit trouble and I've literally lost Mitch there's like no oh, no I don't want to go through it I'm gonna have to go up and round so 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 heavy and I didn't actually have a really old pair of shoes so I oh. so I literally just threw my old checkered vans on climbing up they were fine but walking through all this sogginess and muddiness I'm now literally regretting it greatly so if you are coming to the Brecon Beacons I probably would recommend walking boots because Mitch has got his Nike boots on which we got from um, Berlin like, oh water just went in my foot all those years ago so he's absolutely fine Probably lost my boyfriend so that is very fun but I'm just gonna keep going you can catch up with me taking the hobbits to Isengard.
to it.